Welcome to Carly Tackle's Storage Bench with Concealed Litter Boxes, Part 2. I'm using a stud finder to locate the studs behind the wall. I'm using blue paint tape to make the mark so I can find my studs when I'm ready to drill. I prefer to use blue paint tape instead of using a pencil to mark where the studs are on the wall. It's just a lot easier when it comes to the cleanup. I return my frames back to their position and using a number eight countersink drill bit, I'm pre-drilling where I'm going to mount it to the wall. I'm not going to secure the frames to the wall at this time. I still wanna be able to move into that corner space and install the flooring. And that's gonna be a lot easier if I can move the two frames as I need. You may notice that I'm using scrap pieces and fastening those to the wall in the corner. It's a lot easier using these pieces to help support the flooring and the top and building its own frame with that corner shape. To help me make sure that I'm at the same height as my frame, I move one of my frames closer and using another piece of wood, make sure that it is the exact same height. Now I've also used a level to make sure that it is level from one frame to the back as well as level along the back wall. And you can see I'm just double checking my work. I'm using the term base instead of drawer because it's not gonna have any sides but it's the exact same concept of how to install it. I'm even using the same drawer slides you saw in the previous video. My base is being made out of half inch plywood. To help me cut this to the size, I'm using my new Craig saw guide. It's pretty sweet. Off camera, I made the sides for the base. These are one inch strips of half inch plywood and I wanted to install them so that a half inch overhang on the bottom. Notice that it's completely smooth on the top. Now I'm working on making the front for the base. We still need a front piece for two reasons. One, we need to have something to install the drawer catches to so that it catches our slides. And two, we need something to attach the drawer front to that we're going to make. I'm applying wood glue about a half inch in because remember there's a half inch overhang on the bottom so our board is actually a half inch higher than the bottom of your front so you got to account for that when applying your glue and then I'm clamping it in place with one of my quick grip clamps. I'm also going to grab my brad nailer that's connected to my air compressor and drive in a few nails. Now once you're on the end, it's really easy to see where that board is, but when you're in the middle, it's hard to keep track of where it is. So I'm using the speed square and looking at where a half inch is and making sure that I'm firing my nails above that line. That ensures that I'm driving the nails into the piece instead of missing completely. Bang the drawer against the back a few times to find where you need to drill out for the notches. Now this is a half inch plywood so the notches were kind of towards the top so you can see I'm drilling kind of a groove versus in a hole. I'm installing the drawer catches to the front of our base. And you know me, I love to do test runs. So I have my kitty litter tub on my base. Notice I have plenty of room to slide it around. That way when I buy new tubs, different sizes should be able to fit. I'm using Ryobi's cordless jigsaw to cut out my flooring. I'm still using half inch plywood. I need to be able to cut out the notches for the beams and also the notches where the drawer bracket slides are there. But I still want plenty of flooring to catch the litter so it doesn't get on the real hardwood so I can easily get to it. You 
can see I have that flooring overhang in between the drawer. So when the drawer shuts, it actually is gonna go on top of the flooring. Just a little extra catch for the litter. I attached the flooring to the base using a countersink drill bit and fastening some screws. And I'll show you how I did that in a little bit. Right now I'm just cleaning up my mess and I'm going to use wood filler to go over the screw so you don't see it. I'm also filling in any gaps that may have been there between my boards and the flooring. That way the litter can't fall into the cracks. And here is a how I attach the flooring to the base. I use a number eight countersink drill bit to pre-drill my holes right into the baseboards. And then using my Ryobi impact driver, I drove in the screws. And as I did before, I'm using wood filler to go over my screws and cover any gaps that may exist between the flooring and the boards. Off camera, I use a jigsaw to cut out the hole in my plywood for the cat door. I purchased a two-way interior cat door that I've used before and it comes with this template so I just follow the template's instructions and cut it out using a jigsaw. I also cut the plywood for the sides and the front pieces. I already installed the sides but I'm doing the same process for the front so I'll show you what I did here. Once you have your piece clamped into place and it's straight and flush with all your edges and you know you have the trippy walls that are never straight, I pre-drilled using a countersink drill bit. And then I drove in screws using my impact driver. Once I have all my screws in, I will go back with wood filler and cover them up. Thanks for watching part two of the storage bench with concealed litter box series. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this and to catch the remaining ones in this series, please subscribe to my channel, Carly Tackles DIY, Tools and Gadgets, Tips and Tricks. Make sure you hit that bell to receive notification when I release new content.